Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're doing a bit of a road trip. One of my subscribers on last Friday's live stream mentioned that they'd noticed I'd had a bit of a crappy time. Lots of disasters. Admittedly, most of them all my fault, but offered me a bunch of free discus. Come and take as many discus as you want. Only catch is you have to come and pick them up. There's not a small part of me that thinks, is this the adult equivalent of would you like to see some puppies and then you end up getting kidnapped but i'm going to take the risk i'm going to head off in the car now over to warrington to go and meet dan and see what he's got wish me luck if nothing else this can serve as a cautionary tale to those not to go and meet people on the internet so if i end up dead or in a ditch or something like that yeah that can be a public service announcement So I'm back from Warrington, completely unscathed. It wasn't any elaborate kidnap attempt or anything like that. It was a perfectly normal person. Uh, so Dan, uh, he has a website. I'll, I'll put a link to that in a bit. But basically got into discus breeding over the lockdown. So I had a bit of a chat with him. I had a look around his fish room. Really clean fish room. Really put me to shame. Um, so I've picked up some of the discus and they're, they've been floating in here. So I'm going to get them into the tank as soon as we can. And I'm going to use the plop and drop method. So it's a bucket, it's a net over the bucket pour the fish into the net, get them into there. So all I really care about at this point is just getting them up to the, roughly the same temperature. So they've been in a while there. We'll get them in, see if we can't get them settled. So while I, I wait for them to get up to temperature, I like to say it was a really, very similar to my setup. It's a garage, he's cordoned off half the garage, a load of fish tanks in there and has some really good success, really high yield with some of his discus. These ones are punctured discus. Um, but I think he had a couple other ones as well. Uh, I'll show you some of the, the clips of his fish and his very clean tanks. Um, but some really, really nice examples. The, the breeding pairs that he had, they're fantastic. Great shape, great size. Uh, and what a great offer to give me them for free, gratis, for nothing. Who does that these days? I'm ever so thankful. I will be sending over some free merch to Dan and his family. And I urge you to go and check out his website. So if you're interested in discus, you can pop along. Uh, and, and get some of these. He has quite a few really nice examples in there. And I'm super, super stoked to get my hands on some of these. Um, five hours well spent. So there we go, they're in the tank. This is them in the tank, less than a minute, if that. Um, still drips coming from everywhere. This, I think it's quite important to show this because you don't often see this. This is them, when you buy any new discus and first get them in, they're often quite dark or quite pale. They're often got clamp fins. Uh, these ones don't seem to be doing too bad. All the fins are nice and big, but it's normal. They've been through a bit of a stressful time. They've been in the boot of my car for the best part of two or three hours. They've been in the dark, they've been shuggled about, they've been battered and they've been thrown into a strange environment so you expect them to take a little while to perk up a bit but these ones are doing pretty well actually um, don't seem to be phased by me being up at the glass or filming them which is nice youtube friendly fish um, and like i say no, none of the clamp fins none of the darkness so signs are good so far but if you're buying new discus don't expect, especially the young ones. So these are quite small. These are, well, in fact, I think I took most of these larger ones, <laughs> but there's one little one there that I thought was just super cute. I had to get that one. Um, but these are quite small. And when you're buying new discus and you get them in your tank, don't be disheartened and put off thinking, oh God, they're, they're nothing like the colors they should be. That's not like, it's not like I saw on the internet. This is what they might be like for a day or two. Um, and especially young fish, they don't always show the colors that an adult fish will show. 
So they will take a little while, but do not be deceived, these will grow into some beautiful fish. So very happy, and not just because they're free. So as you can see, the visit has shamed me into doing a massive water change on this tank. I've scrubbed it down and refilling it now. Uh, but these ones, I'm just amazed at how chilled they are. They're all out, they're happy enough. Um, I got nine in total. He was urging me to take more, but I thought that was just taking liberties. So I picked, picked nine. My process for picking fish, it, it's fairly simple. I, I don't, I say this all the time on the live streams, I don't call myself an expert in this by any means, but basically I go for shape. What I like to do is if I can get the breeder to like net a fish that I think looks good and bring it up to the front of the tank so you can see it a little more clearly. The main things I'm looking for is eye shape. Uh, or eye size rather in comparison to the overall size of the discus because if they've got a big massive eye compared to the size of the, the fish itself that's usually an indication it might be stunted if I can see them head on I like to look at the width of the head because I like a nice fat head because um, that's usually a good sign as well overall shape they're discus they shouldn't be arrow shaped they should be round so a nice round shape and then it's just down to colour pattern uh, obviously looking at the fins checking the gills making sure it's generally healthy uh, and then it's just, what do you like? So I've got a few different ones in there where they've got nice, I would say all of them have a nice shape. All of them have good size eyes. It's hard to choose based on pattern when they're this size because the pattern develops over time. But you'll see some of them I can see, oh, not quite as well here, but uh, in the tank they had the red edge to the halo of the fin. And they've all got really good clean fins, nice high fins, nice proud, uh, good patterns I can see pattern coming through on them and at this stage that's a really good sign because that means they'll, they'll probably go on to have a really nice distinct bold pattern when they're older and um, the little one I picked purely because it kept trying to get into the net and it was all up and about me and I just liked the size of it the shape of it and um, as a very small fish it's probably the wrong thing to do but it was a really nice fish and um, but yeah that's what I go for when I'm picking my discus so we've got the new fish in here it's been like a day since I've had them now. Look absolutely fine. They're coloring up a little bit. What they'll end up looking like, I'll put a picture up here so you can see the kind of thing they should develop into. But I'm really happy that they're quite active. They've already fed. I've given them a little bit of my favorite to discuss food, which is the soft Artemia, which I sell on the website. Go and check it out if you want some of that. But I also got some of the food that they've been feeding on from Dan. So I always say it's a really good idea if you've got new fish, if you can get some food from the breeder that they've been feeding, um, that usually goes down a lot better and helps you swap onto the food that you want to over a longer period of time rather than it just being a straight change. So yesterday they were coming up when I was feeding them um, or even when I was putting my hand anywhere near the top of the tank like this, they were coming up. So they're a bit more reserved now. Um, the lights haven't been on all that long, so they might be a little bit sleepy. But I'll put in a little bit of this. It's like a, it's not a beef heart. I can't remember what it is. Um, <laughs> but my discus over here are like, oh, well, we'll have some of that. But as you can see, readily feeding. And that's what you want to see from discus. Any fish that feeds this well, you know you're onto a winner. And the fish in the next tank going, I want some. He does some too. as these are quite small fish I'm going to try and feed them small feeds a couple of times a day and get them growing on a bit my bigger fish over this side they're on once a day which is fine for them and they're that size you can see the size difference there this one here he's my stunty never grown much since I've had him I don't think it's anything I'm doing wrong it's just that's the way it is with some these guys here, awesome. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to check out the progress of these over the next few weeks, months, years, hopefully. And because this is a group of all the same strain, I am hoping that we're gonna get a pair out of this and then we can start a bit of a breeding project with them. Um, again, really like the colors, the shapes, everything about them, they're gonna look great in my display tank. But I'd just like to give a massive shout out to Dan and the Aquarium Adventures community. Um, you guys have really helped me out on my live streams, cheer me up when I've had things go wrong. Um, it, it's very easy to blame yourself and sometimes justifiably so. 
Um, but I'd like to thank you for all your support and get me through this tough time, shall we say. And it is, it's a great community, so join the Discord server, come and join us on a Friday night, hang out in the live stream. We can talk through all the trials and tribulations that I'm having, that you're having, that everyone else is having. All these little niggly problems that you have in hobbies like this. But what a great outcome from a community, a community spirited type of thing. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.